Hello friends, the question is like this, using properties of determinant prove that this determinant x x square 1 plus p x cube y y square 1 plus p y cube z z square 1 plus p z cube is equal to 1 into p x y z into x minus y y minus z and z minus x where p is any scalar. Okay, now to prove this determinant equal to this value first of all we take the determinant itself and the first thing what we observe here is this that column 3 has two terms okay so whenever a column of a determinant has two terms or it is expressed as a sum of two terms rather then we can write this determinant as the sum of two separate determinants like this these two columns remains as it is in first determinant the first elements and in second determinant the second element so it can be written as a sum of two separate uh, determinants and if we have two determinants this can be added to give this determinant okay now you can see further that from first row we can take x common so I'm going to get 1 x p x square okay here we can take y common similarly here we can take z common and from the column Three, we can take p common also so this determinant remain as it is and from this determinant we can take p x y and z p from this column x y z from this row and this is written outside okay now a very interesting uh, thing which has come out is this that this determinant can be converted into this determinant which look in in much simplified form Okay, so we are going to solve this determinant and we are going to tell that it is equal to this determinant. Okay, so taking this determinant x x square 1 y y square 1 z z square 1. First of all, if we change the column, if we interchange rather column 1 and column 3, so we get the determinant like this minus times 1 x square x 1 y square y. 1 z square z minus sign is written here because we have changed two column whenever we change two column the determinants get multiplied with minus sign okay and similarly if we change these two columns if we interchange these two columns then we are going to get that is we are going to change interchange c2 and c3 column 2 and column 3 so we are going to get 1 x x square 1 y y square 1 z z square and here minus sign disappears because we have further changed interchanged two columns so determinants this determinant will further get multiplied with minus one and minus minus will become plus okay and after performing these two operation on this determinant we get this determinant equal to this determinant 1xx x square 1yy y square 1z z is square okay so replacing this determinant with 1x x square 1y y square 1z z square I can write the expression like this okay now you must be thinking that or an idea must be ringing in your mind that can't we take these two determinant as common surely I'm going to take these two as common and I'm going to write that uh, one would be left here because complete determinant is taken common here this determinant is taken common and p x y z would be remaining so i'm going to get one plus p x y z times this determinant okay now this determinant is very easy to simplify i think okay and it has one 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 in in uh, located in column one so applying r2 minus r1 and r3 is changed to r3 minus r1 okay this operation has been done many times so I'm going to get 1 into p x y z as 1 0 0 x y minus x z minus x x square y square minus x square z square minus x square right further we are going to factorize this y square minus x square z square minus x square to obtain all the terms as it is only the column 3 of this determinant would be changed and will be written as y minus x into z plus x z minus x into z plus x now we can take y minus x common from the second row z minus x common from the third row okay so i'm going to obtain 1 into p x y z into y minus x into z minus x into the determinant 1 x x squares 0 
वन वाई प्लस एक्स जीरो वन सेट प्लस एक्स ओके फर्दर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सपैंड दिस डिटर्मिनेंट ऑल दीज थ्री टर्म्स रिमेन सेम एज इट इज इट इज कॉपी एज इट इज एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एट वन इन टू द डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ऑर्डर टू वन वाई प्लस जेड वन जेड प्लस एक्स माइनस जीरो प्लस जीरो एंड दिस विल बी इक्वल टू जेड प्लस एक्स माइनस वाई माइनस एक्स दिस एक्स एंड दिस एक्स कैंसल्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू गेट वन इन टू पी एक्स वाई जेड इंटू वाई माइनस एक्स इंटू जेड माइनस एक्स इंटू जेड माइनस वाई नाउ द डिटर्मिनेंट हैज टू बी प्रूव इक्वल टू वन इंटू पी एक्स वाई जेड वन इंटू पी एक्स वाई जेड इज हेयर into x minus y here we have y minus x z minus x z minus x is there and y minus z y minus z here for these two terms the order of the sign is different so what i'm going to do i'm going to multiply this bracket with minus 1 or or i can rather take minus 1 as common and multiply in this bracket okay so the order will change and the value will remain unchanged because i have i have taken minus 1 common from here and multiplied here Okay, so I'm going to obtain one plus p x y z into x minus y into y minus z into z minus x, which was required to prove. Hence, we have proved the given question. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube. H S K Shiksha. and math help by hsk thank you